people are sleeping on deep tech. As a deep tech investor, I'm obviously biased. This is the bet I'm making. However, I think people are really focused on AI, which is significant, but I think is overstated and not every startup needs an AI feature or a product. Meanwhile, people are really sleeping on deep tech, but South Korea gets it. And that is why they have a really ambitious economic plan to invest in AI and deep tech. At the heart of their plan are 15 deep tech and energy projects. They refer to this as super innovation economy. They're focusing on advanced materials, energy resilience, and new industries. Let me read you specifically what this includes. So the first thing is silicon carbide, power semiconductors critical for electric vehicles, EVs, and data centers. Korea currently relies on imports for 90% of its supply. Did not know that. Independent liquefied natural gas cargo hold technology to reduce reliance on foreign designs in Korea's world-leading shipbuilding sector. Superconductors for MRI, fusion, and quantum computing. Graphene for high-performance batteries, sensors, and cooling systems. And special steels for shipbuilding, cars, and renewable energy. And I'm just looking at a potential investment opportunity for something steel-related. So make sure that you follow me if you want to understand more about why steel is polluting and what potential alternatives are. Now, on the energy front, Korea is also focused on offshore wind turbines, solar cells, green hydrogen, and small modular reactors, which we have also talked about on my channel. They are also focused on AI-driven agriculture, and I just did a video on how Japan is using AI-powered drones to combat wildfires that are destroying forests. Korea is also using satellites to monitor climate disasters and ensure timely response. To finance this project, Seoul is establishing a national growth fund. This includes 74 billion of pooled capital from public sources, pension funds, and private investors. The fund will also ensure that growth dividends are shared with its citizens. 